गुड मॉर्निंग सो आई एम स्टैंडिंग बिसाइड वन ऑफ द कनाल्स ऑफ दिस सिटी ऑफ कोलकाता दैट कैरीज द सूज फ्रॉम इट्स सबर वन पोर्शन टू द मेन ड्रेनेज स्टॉम वाटर ड्रेनेज कैनाल विच इज कॉल्ड द स्टॉम वेदर फ्लो चैनल माई एक्सपोजर to this area of work has been for about two decades and a little more than that and these canals connect to the largest ensemble of sewage fed wetlands in the world which actually produce food so that the people of the city can get fish and vegetables at a low cost that brings down the cost of living in the city the canals are the lifeline if they carry proper amount of sewage to the wetlands then the wetland community can sustain themselves by recovering the nutrients from the sewage to grow food and these canals have to stay in good health one to supply sewage and the other to such that the floods can be managed properly by maintaining the health of the canals let me show you what i want to say this place is called chobaga it is a kind of a boundary of the wetland area and this canal that i am standing beside this is the tail end of what we call the taliganj panchanagram channel this carries voluminous sewage to the storm water drain and it is essential that its health be maintained by not dumping solid waste into the canal i'm sorry to say that people of my city are very very prone to simply throwing out their waste and they identify canals and water bodies as places where waste can actually be thrown without thinking of the consequences this absence of civic sense makes it a challenge for both people like us who work on environmental issues and on uh, wetlands and their links to flood management and the canals it makes a challenge for people like us who have this area of work and it makes it a challenge for policy makers also as to what to put in place what policy to put in place whereby the health of these canals can be maintained and these canals actually facilitate the taking away of storm water and putting them in the main storm water uh, channel that carries away water from the city during the rains and saves it from inundation so my uh, desire to enroll for the flood management and flood risk management course has taught me to focus on these canals by uh, taking to taking together the information that i learned from the course and may be presenting it in a kind of a modular form to the policy makers so that the policy makers can really understand some of the ways in which to use the story of the canals to alert people about the importance of maintaining canal health so that flood management is not damaged kolkata is a city that has a high flood risk because of the warming climate but kolkata is also a city that has high flood risk because of a certain number of other reasons which people don't always discuss what happens if there is severe inundation if the health of the canals is properly maintained then the water does not stay on in the roads and in the city it uses the canals to take itself out and flow into the storm water drain or flow into the wetlands whichever way they are channelized so the canal health is an issue of focus for the policy maker
and the flood risk management course has taught me that uh, I can use the knowledge that I have got through the classes and through the flood green guide to make a case for better management of the canals to ensure that floods are actually uh, preempted and everything is done so that water does not accumulate in the city.